So we are here with Andy Enfield, USC head coach. Uh, first practice of the year. At this point, what were you guys trying to set out to do the first day of practice? How close is it to what you're going to be doing as the season gets going? Are you kind of just going full in, or are you going to kind of ramp them up a little bit as they go along? Well, we have 42 days before the first game. They changed the rule that last year. You practice the first Friday before October 15th. They moved the season up two weeks. You have to take two days off instead of one. So. We have plenty of time to put our system in, to put our offense and defense philosophies, uh, the plays. Uh, so we're going to take it step by step. We're not going to try to rush anything. Uh, we have plenty of time. So today was a, uh, we put a few new things in, but really emphasized uh, the defensive side of basketball. Mm -hmm. Did anyone distinguish themselves on the first day of practice? Well, I think the team in general uh, played hard and they competed. So uh, that's all we ask. Uh, we have some very good players on this basketball team, and, and I don't know who's going to be the leading score, leading rebounder, assist guy, or, or uh, who, who is going to start or not start. Uh, that'll be determined by the next four or five. At this point, that stuff all is, you know, you have to shake itself out. It's a group that, you know, a lot of new faces here, not just you and your coaching staff. Um, from the returning guys, who have you seen kind of step up and take a leadership role so far? Well, the guys that we're going to rely on to, to play a lot of minutes and lead us are, are Omar, our center, seven foot two, and JT Terrell, who's a senior, and Keyshawn Howard. So those are the three seniors, and this is their time. This is their last year of college basketball. And then Byron Wesley's our junior that this experience, averaged 10 points a game last season. So those four returnees, the juniors and seniors on any team, have to lead, and, and they have to do it on the court, off the court, and they got in the locker room. So. When we show up to practice every day, I expect our team to follow their lead and be ready to go. Are you satisfied with what you've seen from those four so far in that department? Yeah, they've done a great job. We've had a big time off season. Uh, DJ Haley is another senior that will be, he's, he's injured right now, but he's an important part of this mix. And I didn't mention him because he didn't practice today. Uh, but I, I'm pleasantly surprised with JT, Omar, and Byron, uh, their leadership capabilities and how they've improved this summer. And uh, we, we just had a DJ and Pisha on the first of school, so we've only had about a month with them. For two guys like that who do just transfer, it's a little tougher for them to kind of be leaders right from the outside because they're getting their bearings and being in the program and around oh, the new so, teammates. No, they're, they're, they need to be leaders right now. Yeah. Uh, DJ Haley graduated in three years. He's a smart individual, a yeah. very, very nice person, but very he's very respected among his teammates. Uh, P. Sean Howard started off and on for three years at the University of Maryland. Uh, we're not waiting around for him to figure it out. He's got to come in here and be a leader. Uh, and I think our, his teammates are responding right away. How do you think the freshmen responded to their first practice? Well, they look good. They uh, made some plays. They played hard. They were trying to get grasp of defensive concepts. And the biggest thing for freshmen is on the defensive side of the ball. Usually in high school, they have no clue what college defense is all about. So from guarding the basketball to containing it to, to transition defense to help side, uh, there's a lot of things to learn. And, and we just have such an extensive defensive system here. Uh, in college basketball in general, so they have a lot to prove to make. So just just being a new team, you being a new coach, what do you think is going to be the biggest hurdle that you're going to have to face these next 42 days? Well, we have eight new players. Six are eligible to play this year, and we have two transfers sitting out. So anytime you have a new coaching staff and eight new players, you have a lot. To, you just can't show up and say, hey, run, run this play, and everyone knows it, because you have to teach it first. Uh, or a defensive concept, uh, you, you have to teach it. So there will be a lot more teaching involved than a veteran team or a coaching staff that's been around a while. And uh, for instance, last year, uh, it was easy for me to walk into practice and I could say, call out a drill or call out a play or call out a defensive uh, shell drill. And, and all 13 guys knew what we were doing before I even really explained the drill. Is there going to be a timetable where you're going to try to transition into the basics, into like the more specific parts of your game plan? Well, we do a little bit of each day. We do basics and specifics. And so we're trying to build our system, and it takes some time. The nice thing is we have plenty of, plenty of days to do that. Have you been satisfied with some of the progress the team's made so far? In well, terms of getting. We've only had one day of practice, so. Uh, <laughs> I was satisfied with the first day. Now, the preseason workouts, we were only allowed four players on the court until September 15th. So the, the dis disadvantage of moving the practice up two weeks like the NCAA did, you don't have a lot of time to get the team acclimated to, to the team concepts. It's all individual concepts. So now we have to do a little more teaching, but, but you have 42 days to do that. At Florida Gulf Coast, how long did it take you to get your system implemented from when you a few weeks, and it takes it takes a while to 
played at a high level because players have to improve as individuals and they have to improve their decision making, their skill sets, their, their ball handling, their passing, their shooting, etc. The post moves. And, and, uh, as we go through it, we'll spend a lot of time on individual improvement and, and uh, our coaching staff, our assistant coach will spend a lot of time uh, in the gym with these players. Is it hard to convince kids you really mean it when you, you tell them go fast? A lot no, of coaches will say that. Because then... I just, if they don't understand, I just yell at them a little louder <laughs> and then they understand. Is there anything particular that you wanted to accomplish today and you feel like that got done? I'm sorry? Is there anything in particular you wanted to accomplish on this first day of practice and you feel like you did it? Did it? Uh, yeah. No, we, we had a practice plan, we followed it, and we got everything in. So sometimes you, you get carried away with one particular section, but it went very smoothly today. The guys were in and out of different drills and, and performed. Uh, I thought they worked extremely hard. How did Omar look in this new system? Well, he just ran at the end after a two-and-a-half-hour practice. Uh, he looks like he's in pretty good shape. He, uh, we need to use him. He needs to average double figures for us this year and, and at close to double figures in rebounding. And if we can do that, we could be a very good basketball team. <coughs> How do you keep him out of foul trouble? That's on him. He's going to have to learn uh, to, to play position, position defense. Uh, one thing I have seen with Omar is uh, he's usually good on the first pass or the second pass, but, uh, but uh, as he gets deeper in the position, uh, possession, uh, meaning more time is being taken off. Uh, he needs to learn to, to play a full possession on defense, and, and that's how you get in foul trouble. It's not necessarily everyone can play the first pass or second pass, but uh, as you have to adjust to where the ball is on the court, uh, Omar needs to be in better position. And once he learns that, I think he'll stay out of foul trouble.